How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood transgender medical student, and today I'm going to be talking about why therapy and therapists need to be more intersectional, why we need a greater pool of intersectional therapists that represent a number of minoritized identities, and why there is a false belief out there that we have way too many therapists, which actually discouraged me four years ago from pursuing a psychology degree and from pursuing from becoming a therapist. When I was around 18, 19 years old, I actually went into undergrad not wanting to be a doctor. I wanted to become a therapist. I wanted to get my PhD in psychology. And I was really passionate about it. And I remember for so long when I was in the therapy program, in the counseling and psych psychology program, I, when I was talking to other people, they were telling me that Ben, this is a terrible idea. You don't need to go into psychology. We have way too many therapists, blah, blah, blah. And they basically convinced me away from the career. And eventually I did a lot of soul searching and found out that I still loved being in medicine. So I pursued medical school. And I have no regrets about going into medical school, but I do want to make this video for any like my gen any gender racial minority student out there that's considering therapy and are having people telling them not to pursue it to not let that get to you to not let them sway you because we need we need more therapists that have different identities for their patients also we need more therapists with disabilities because I'll, every time i pull up psychology today it seems like every therapist that i see are a completely able-bodied folk they may have invisible illnesses but like we need more disability representation because disabled people also need therapy and it's really important for them to be able to talk to someone that can relate to them and i say this over and over again that most therapists can provide good therapy but there are little nuances to everyone's life where having someone with their shared identity can understand a little bit better and i'll use myself as an example around two years ago when i first started medically transitioning i was looking for a therapist to help me cope with both my interpersonal conflicts but also my external conflicts as well so uh, originally i was looking for trans inclusive lgbtq inclusive therapists and when I generated the list, almost everyone was white. There was very, very few multiracial or non-white therapists out there. And the closest one to me that accepted insurance was a gay white man. And this is no ding on him. He was a great therapist. I felt like he really helped me with coming to terms with my gender identity. But when it came to my external conflicts with other people, he just couldn't provide for me the best therapy I needed because we didn't have that shared identity of being a brown man living in America with family that's very traditional, with family with deep set cultural roots. And yes, I am grateful for my therapist. I'm grateful that he's been there for me. I'm grateful that he helped me with my gender dysphoria. But a little part of me wishes that I could have seen another therapist that both understands what it's like to be trans, what it's like to be queer, but also understands what it's like to be a trans, queer, Muslim, brown, American. Because every time I talk to my therapist about my family issues, when I talk to him about issues within my own community, he just couldn't provide sympathy like i mean like he just couldn't provide what i needed to hear because he just didn't understand my culture and he even admitted it to himself that you know like i grew up in um suburbia i grew up with a white family i had white neighbors and i never had the conflicts that you have with your family and he i really did enjoy his genuineness but at the same time it made me think about all those people out there that do identify as south asian that do identify as south asian and queer that really need a therapist that can understand their cultural barriers i have less cultural barriers when it comes to my mental health but if i needed something like that that 
is not available to me. Like in, in Atlanta, there's probably around three therapists that are like that. It's really hard to find them. None of them are trans identifying. All of them are cis. So they will probably understand what it's like to be queer and in my culture, but not necessarily understand what it means to be queer trans and within my culture. And even to this day, when I think about my therapy sessions, I was able to face a lot of personal issues that I was facing through the use of therapy. But at, this, at the same time, there is still some issues that I still have within myself, with my relationship with my family and my community, my you know, Bangladeshi community, that is still unresolved because we just haven't gotten there yet. And I wish I had a queer brown therapist that could help me through that process. And it really made me think about how, how accessible are therapists with intersectional identities. And when I go to psychology today, there's very few and we need more. So if you're a kid out there going through school thinking about being a therapist and there are people telling you don't pursue it because we have too many of that profession, they're absolutely wrong. We definitely need a lot more therapists. We definitely need a lot more therapists that are accessible. And I live in a big city and I still can't find enough therapists for all the people that come up to me and ask me for recommendations for this sort of specialized therapy versus this sort of specialized therapy. There's so few therapists that offer sliding scale plans, so few therapists that actually take insurance. So no, that is a false reality. We need more intersectional therapists. If you're a kid out there and you're thinking, wow, there's not a lot of therapists out there like me. Don't be discouraged and pursue it because we need more people like you. And I'm not the person that's going to save the world, but collectively we can all work together to make sure everyone's taken care of. So that's my little rant for uh, today. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope this encourages you to send it to someone who is thinking about pursuing therapy as a career. and. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and my activism work that I do. And I'll see you on the next video. This is Ben.